Alright. Yeah, thanks. That was great. <sighs> you know what, Marcel? I think we're ready for a build video. What is up, everyone? My name is Sholton, and today we are in Celiana. So you guessed it, <laughs> I'm playing Monster Hunter World again. I've got a new build videos for you guys. So yeah, uh, I've been playing Iceborne, enjoyed the campaign and all that, and um, basically unlocked the Guiding Lands, uh, as you can see from the fact that I'm wearing uh, Zora pieces. And I also have a new gun lance, which is the new uh, Valhazak gun lance, the Blackfell Valhazak. Um, and basically, it's a long shelling gun lance. So basically, we're gonna go over the gear we are wearing, and then we're gonna go over decorations because, my god, Master Ant gear is really slutty. <laughs> um, there are so many slots, and so there's just so much stuff to cover. So we're gonna go over equipment first. So, we are wearing the Zora headgear beta, which gives us a one level of flinch, flinch free, um, a level four slot, a level two slot, and a level one slot. Um, we are wearing the Damascus male B for two levels of focus, a level four slot, a level two slot, and a level one slot. Yeah, yeah you can see where we're going here. Um, we have the acidic clavinous braces B, which give us uh, stun resistance, level 2, a level 4 slot, a level 2 slot, and a level 1 slot. The Zora Spine B, which gives us uh, one level of tremor resistance, a um, level 4 slot, a level 3 slot, and we have the Zora Spurs, which give us a level 4 slot, a level 2 slot, and one level of your plugs. So, as you can see at a quick glance, right, like ear plugs, tremor resistance, stun resistance, focus, flinch free, and you can kind of look at that and think, oh, Shulton, you, you don't have any damage there. What are you going to do? Um, so basically, as I said, we're using the Deathlands Vals Visa, um, which has pretty good amount of sharpness, two level two slots. Average Elder Seal. It's a long type shelling gun lance, as I said. Um, and it's got level 6 shelling. Um, attack doesn't matter. Affinity doesn't matter. Because basically, since we're using a, a long shelling gun lance, the, the best way to do damage with those is uh, to do charged shots. So basically, we're going to be using shells almost exclusively. So the only thing that matters is our shelling level and our artillery level. So basically, if we go over our decorations, first of all, can we just take a moment to appreciate the amount of slots and the fact that mantles have slots now. Um, but the way it works is um, these um, jewels are only active when you are wearing the specific mantle um, that the jewels are on. So basically what I've done is um, Thunderproof and Iceproof mantle like they don't really matter to me but it's just the fact that they have two level two slots um, and basically what I've done is I've made them mirror each other and these two mantles stay on you for a pretty good amount of time so basically I'm, I'm spending about 80% of the time with a mantle on and so I've decided, like, if we go over all my skills, right? Like, we have all this list. Um, so you can see here, like, I've got a Destroyer Jewel and a Destroyer Slash Protection. If we look at Part Breaker, um, you can see that it's at level 2. But you can see the, the third square um, is different. That's to announce that when I'm wearing a mantle, I am at level 3 Part Breaker. Um, same thing with Divine Blessing, like I'll, I have level 1 Divine Blessing at all times, but while wearing a mantle, which is again about 80% of the time, I have level 2. Um, so I'm not going to go too crazy um, 
with naming naming all the decorations you can see them here just take a screenshot for that but we are gonna go over um, what the actual skills do um, so basically like I said um, the only thing that matters to us damage wise is um, our shell levels and the artillery levels and as you can see here the uh, Zoromagdoros essence skill which is activated when you are wearing three pieces of Zoromagdoros gear literally lets you level up artillery two more levels so at artillery level five our shells now um, do 50 percent more damage and you also have um, reduced wire and fire cooldown by 70 percent but that doesn't really matter since we only use that really for sleep bombing and basically from from there we're set on damage um, you have the focus skill which lets us charge our shots faster but other than that DPS wise we're good and so what I did is I filled up everything else with quality of life so I pretty much filled in the, the, the skills from my armor so you can see here like here plugs level 4 so nullifies weak monster roars and reduces the effect of strong monster roars we have stun resistance so prevent stuns and we have tremor resistance so nullifies minor and major ground tremors so these three skills um, are pretty much what I would call quality of life like it's these aren't skills that I would necessarily build for um, but since I'm already set with damage this is just extra fluff so it's just stuff that you know like tremors stun resistance and r monster roar like these things aren't the end of the world but they are annoying and if I can avoid them or make them less shit then why not then we have evade extender um, with our three uh, jumping jewels so this is pretty much to help us with uh, mobility we have elf boost level 2 so plus 30 health um, I'm pretty comfortable with that um, I could go for level 3 if I wanted to but I think my defense is pretty high I can take a few hits and so plus 30 is just fine we have focus level 2 uh, reduces charge times by 10% so we have also, as I said, part breaker, level 2 at all times, and while wearing a mantle, level 3. So part damage plus 20%, and with a mantle plus 30%. Uh, we have capacity boost, so we have an extra shell in our gun lens. So since we're using long shelling, usually it's 3 shells, and now we have 4 before we need to reload. Um, Divine Blessing, level 1. Um, reduces damage taken by 15% um, this activates at random times but it procs pretty often and while wearing a mantle level 2 so reduces damage taken by 30% again just it's not something that I necessarily built for but since I can fit it in taking less damage is always good and then we have um, flinch free so this is more for when we're doing multiplayer hunts so you don't get staggered by longsword users or bow users with their rocks um, and yeah uh, this just came with the Zora headgear as I showed off earlier but yeah so basically this is the build so as you can see this is what I would call I pretty much call it my tank build because you are literally only using the gun part of your gun lance and since we have like skills that help us stand our ground like not being affected by tremors or stuns um, I feel like it just fits the theme um, <laughs> so yeah now I call it the literal tank build so I'm gonna go into a hunt um, what I think I'm gonna go is I'm just gonna go into the guiding lance because to be quite frank, I still need to level up my zones there. Um, and we're just going to go with whatever we find in there. So first of all, we're going to go make sure we have our items. Um, one thing also that I appreciate about this build is um, since we're doing shell damage, um, we don't need any demon drugs or um, demon powder. Or, no, Power Charm and Power Talon. 
um, we don't need those so we're able to bring um, a lot of extra stuff like I usually don't run around with um, traps and trank bombs and honey and adamant seed so this is stuff that I usually don't necessarily run around with um, but since I don't have all the damage buff stuff I just have more room so I feel like it just makes me more useful in, in a hunt basically um, one thing also is you don't need to eat for attack up L um, so you can pretty much focus on defense which is pretty good because the only downside of this build is you have good fire defense but everything else is way down and so basically the way I rectify it is by becoming a vegan and only eating the veggie platter all the time and that pretty much fixes our problem and now as you can see our defenses are better so at least we don't have anything in negative or ready for any situation okay so depart okay so we are in the guiding lands so the guiding lands are pretty much the new end game area and basically how it works is um, it kind of mixes all the different biomes uh, from base monster in the world so you have a forest section you have a wasteland section you have a coral highland section and, and you have um, a um, what is it called again rotten vale section which is uh, more underground yeah like over here the, you can see that the the zones all have um, levels so you can see so when you hunt monsters into these different areas you pretty much level them up and as you level them up you get tougher stronger monsters so you can see we have the coral islands at level 2 and the wasteland at level 2 and the forest and the rotten veil are both still at level 1 and now let's just take a few buffs while we're here might as well go full health and let's go hunt down that great Jagras and whatever it is right like I think this is a pretty good area to show off the new build because I just I can just run around and kill a bunch of different monsters and just see how to build fares against a bunch of them we got a Puke Puke here and great Jagras oh that's cool so let's go for both 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 is good well you know what you, you just stay right there okay i went with melee hits first i forgot i'm using long shelling i'm actually impressed by my range like I'm still hitting him. Oh, fine trap. So many materials.
still slammed it into the ground. I thought it was gonna hit Green Jaggers, that would've been great. Slight. Don't go too far, Great Jagras. Coming for you next, bud. Hitting him, it's crazy. Basically, you're just always hoping for a stagger, and you kind of get him pretty often, like right here. gonna let me sharpen after this? Let's see. If this Toby is a gentleman, <laughs> looks like he wants a worthy opponent.
thing. And as you can see, it didn't really take much time before I could use my mantle. I basically have a mantle at all times, really. Alright, wakey wakey. So yeah, as you can see here, um, not really running into many, much trouble. Um, our sharpness lasts pretty long, longer than I actually expected. And uh, I'm actually impressed at the amount of staggers and part breaks we can get into a short amount of time. And the amount of time the monsters stand on the ground. <laughs> it's pretty nuts. So yeah. Uh, I'm li liking the build so far. Um, let me know what you guys think, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.